Another vitally important tool you'll need is a text editor. Once again, this is very likely that you'll have one already installed on your machine somewhere. Depending on what different operating system you're running, it could be called a wide variety of different names. On Windows, the default text editor is called Notepad. On a Unix-based machine, you might find Vi or Emacs. You might want to consider going with a commercial text editor. And there's some very good ones around, such as TextPad, which has a whole range of syntax highlighting and other features that are very useful for programming. There's also Vi, the text editor for Unix and its variants. If you're running the Macintosh, probably the most popular programming text editor is BBEdit. ActiveState.com, who also maintain the Windows version of the Perl binary, have a text editor called Komodo, which is an excellent text editor and has a whole raft of different features for working with scripts such as Perl or a range of other programming languages as well. It's not a free product, but the non-commercial license is pretty cheap, so you may want to consider that one. If you're looking to run your Perl scripts on a remote server, you also need some kind of means of uploading your scripts to the server. An FTP client can come in handy here. And you'll probably also want to have some kind of uh, Telnet client as well in order to communicate with the remote server. But these things are not necessary if you're just going to be running Perl on the box that's sitting on your desktop. Now let's look at some resources that you might find useful as you make your journey into the world of Perl. At Perl.com there are a whole range of different resources available that will help you to learn about Perl. Same is true for Perl.org, which is the Perl Mungers website maintained by O'Reilly's, the book publishers. You'll find, I mentioned this before, CPAN.org has a vast range of modules and Perl resources in general. You might also want to go to one of the news groups, such as comp.lang.perl, and there are a whole variety of different uh, news groups under that. I should give a note of warning here that the news groups are, unless they specify, not for asking questions that could be found out easily by looking at manuals or reference guides. So search the uh, frequently asked questions before you post on any of these news groups with beginner's questions. Don't say I didn't warn you. There is a very excellent book on Perl, which is known as The Camel. This is produced by the O'Reilly's Book Publishers, and it's written by excellent authors, including Larry Wall, the original creator of Perl. So that's training from the source. I should point out that programming Perl is not a beginner's guide. So you'll probably want to look at this book after you've worked through the material on this course because it does tend to plunge in at the deep end. Finally, you may want to, and this will be amusing if nothing else, talk to PURL, Perl, which is an info bot on IRC, specifically on the Perl channel on FNET. If you track down this infobot, you might find it amusing to ask it questions and see what information has been passed it through scanning IRC for little tidbits of data, not just on Perl, but on the internet and on the web in general. The Perl infobot is actually written in Perl and has some kind of database connectivity as well, I believe, 
and so it's a good example of the language speaking for itself.